Hello, it's the IT guys here. Welcome back to another tutorial in Microsoft Word. Today we're going to be having a look at page layout. First, we're going to come across to the page layout tab in the ribbon. First thing we're going to be doing is changing the orientation of our page, as I want our page to be landscape rather than portrait. To do this, we go to orientation, click on it, and then select landscape. And as you can see, our page has now changed to landscape. We're going to now set the margins of our page. If we want to change the margins, we come to margins. Then you can choose narrow, which will reduce the size of the margins. Moderate, some of the other options, or custom margins. If you choose custom margins, this menu will appear. And this will let you change the size of the margins independently. I'm going to do this and click OK. Next, we're going to try and change the size of our sheet of paper. We do this by coming to Size, then choosing the chosen option. If in this list of options the size you want isn't there, you can click More Paper Sizes then you can choose a custom width and height and click OK. I'm going to leave ours as A4. We are now going to come to Columns. You have a couple of options here, having one column as we have now, splitting it into two columns, three columns, having one small column on the left and a larger column on the right, having a larger column on the left and a small column on the right, or you can click more columns if you want to customize it even more. This lets you go up to 19, in this case columns, it depends on your page width, as you can only have columns to a minimum width. But I'm going to go with three columns, which you could select here. You can also choose to have a line between the columns, as you can see in this preview, or not, by checking or unchecking this box. I'm going to put lines between the columns. We're going to apply it to the whole document, but you can have the columns just from the point you're in and onwards. Again, for the whole document, and click OK. You can now see it's inserted a column. If I keep pressing Enter, you can see it will put in the third column. That's all we're going to show you in this episode. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check us out on our next tutorials. But for now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.